Hey, everybody. Happy Advent, and we're here the first Monday of Advent, November 28th. I read from our reading from the Gospel of Matthew from today's liturgy. When Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion approached him and appealed to him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home, paralyzed, suffering dreadfully. He said to him, I will come and cure him. The centurion said in reply, Lord, I'm not worthy to have you enter under my roof and say the word in my servant and my servant will be healed. Now, there's something special about the servant in Capernaum, and really it was attitude toward his servant. The servant could probably would be a slave, most likely, but the centurion was grieved that his servant was ill and was determined to do everything in his power to save him. Typically, they don't treat the servants as slaves with such an attitude of love and care and compassion. It's the reverse, that's the reverse normal, of the normal attitude towards slave. According to the Roman Empire, slaves did not matter. There was no importance to anyone if they suffered, whether they lived or died. Aristotle, talking about the friendships which are possible in life, writes, there can be no friendships nor justice towards inanimate things, indeed not even towards a horse or an ox, nor yet towards a slave as a slave. For the master and slave have nothing in common. A slave is a living tool, just as a tool is an inanimate slave. Wow. And that's the great Aristotle. And so we see the contrast. And so a slave was no better than a thing. A slave had no legal rights whatsoever. His master was free to treat him or maltreat him as he liked. Whew. Gaius, the Roman legal expert, says this, we may note that it's universally accepted that the master possessed the power of life and death over the slave. Wow. So you get the picture. Hmm? So the centurion, a pagan, not even a Christian, to have this care and concern for his slave. 